Hi, welcome back to another video presentation brought to you by StemCellMalaysia.com and this video we're going to talk about sources of stem cells. Now sources of stem cells is uh, a very important area that we need to deliberate and consider before we talk about stem cell therapy because the sources of stem cells directly determine the quality of the stem cells and the quality of the stem cells will directly affect the efficacy of uh, any stem cell therapy. Now, when we talk about the sources of stem cells, we are referring to the types of organism or animals, the location of the organism or animals. And of course, there's another uh, factor in terms of the sources of stem cells, which is the parts of the body, which is um, not too much of an issue and it's basically universally agreed that is from the placenta now the basically the common sources of stem cells are sheep deer and human human referring to the fetal uh, placenta now these three <clears throat> uh, sources are commonly accepted because they do not cause any allergic response or uh, scientifically and the human uh, fetal placenta does not cause any antigenicity. Now again, we repeat that the sources, the parts of the body that we harvest the stem cells are from the placenta of the sheep, deer and the human uh, fetal uh, placenta. Now historically, the sources of the, uh, particularly the sheep and deer are from Europe. However, Europe presents a, a major problem with the outbreak of diseases uh, such as mad cow disease, scrappy, and foot and mouth disease. Now, ideally we want uh, our sources to be free from all these kind of diseases and isolated from uh, places like Europe where there are outbreaks of such diseases. So New Zealand is probably the ideal place because it isolated from the European continent and uh, they are free from New Zealand is free from medical disease, scrappy and foot and mouth disease. Now when we when we talk about the human fetal placenta there are certain issues that we need to address. Uh, for instance uh, have uh, the fetal placenta been tested for HIV, hepatitis and other viruses? Um, now, actually, in the market, you can get uh, fetal placenta. But the problem is, um, are there any certification uh, certifying that they have been tested for all these kind of illnesses and viruses? And also, is it legal? Or are they just uh, harvested from some person or some female from the third world countries? Now, these questions are very, very important because you do not want to... Uh, uh, use some stem cells that are HIV, that have HIV history or that have hepatitis or other viral uh, history uh, in the stem cells. So these are the questions that are, um, that are crucial when we talk about fetal placenta. As far as the um, current status concern is probably better to stay away from the human sources of stem cells. Thank you for watching this video and for the rest of the article and the details of the article, please visit Stem Cell Malaysia at stemcellmalaysia.com. Thank you. Bye-bye. Talk soon.